Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we even get started, we want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakatash. Secondly, we want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, who rule well. And third, we want to give salutations to all the oculus of the hopeful elect that laboring for this word and its truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm Brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Midlands, and pretty much I'm coming back with another listen. And, you know, what I'm saying this listen right here, you know, pretty much I got expired. You know, what I'm saying I was watching, uh, uh, you know, I was watching a podcast of this guy by the name of uh, Kareem Johnson, you know, a guy named Kareem Johnson. And, um, you know, my first time really, uh, you know, what I'm saying listening to him or whatnot. And what uh, what got my attention was pretty much when he was calling out uh, guys like, the you know, the Umar Johnson's, the, the black unconscious community. Uh, these false, uh, I mean, like the uh, these preachers and what have you. Now, like I said, this is my first time really, you know, checking this guy out. And I was like, oh, man, I said, this dude right here, he ain't holding no bars, man. You know, you know, he calling out all, you know, pretty much he, same thing we be doing, man. You know, great millstone, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I thought at first, you know, I'm listening to this dude, Karim Johnson. Then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, what uh, made me like, you know what I'm saying? Like what made me uh, like, whoa, what made me say, whoa, <laughs> like, whoa, when the nigga came out his damn mouth, he was doing good, man. Kareem, Kareem Johnson was doing good till he came out his mouth. Cause I think somebody on this comment board uh, said something uh, to the effect that uh, we're living in the last days. And then, you know, he, and then he made it, you know, he read the comment and once he read the comment, he, you know, he made a statement, Hey man, y'all go somewhere with that spooky stuff, man. All right. Don't, don't come and bring me no, don't come in here talking about no mystery guy, mystery guy. So right then when he was saying that, when he made that statement to my some mystery guy, man, I pretty much was done with his ass, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really, really bothered to hear nothing else this nigga had to fucking say, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he was doing good. He was doing good till he came out his fucking mouth. And, and talking about, you know, he don't believe in no spookism and the Bible and that's the white man's book. And, you know what I'm saying? Talking about he don't believe in no mystery God. But, yeah, he said he's a God. I think that, you know what I'm saying? Then later, later come to find out, I think this nigga uh, prescribed, I think he, I think he a five percenter or he used to be a five percenter, one, one out of two. But either way it go, the most I gonna kill that nigga, man. And, and you got a lot of Jake out there with that same mentality that think that they deep, think they on a damn level. Think they think they got think they got the knowledge, you know what I'm saying? They got the listens, though. They say we got the listens or whatnot, which they ain't got shit at the end of the day, man. And you know, for brothers that they, you know, especially new brothers just waking up, you know what I'm saying? You know, just because you're gonna have niggas that can say or articulate and can use thousand dollar words or whatnot, hey man, don't let their incredulity, which is their non belief, trouble you at the end of the day, man. All right, you know, because yeah, how about you, I was shy. He gonna make himself known, you know what I'm saying, through this world once again, and to and 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 to all these non-believers, man. You know what I'm saying? These two-third Jakes out here, you know what I'm saying? Going back to Ezekiel, hey man, they gonna know. Everybody gonna know the true power of Yahweh Bashim at the end of the day or whatnot, man. So you know, really doing this listen right here for the uh the new brothers coming in, and let's get second address, man. All right, you know, like I said, man, don't let these clowns out here trouble you. Don't let them, you know what I'm saying, shaking your faith. At the end of the day and whatnot, man. All right, because they don't believe and whatnot. They don't believe ultimately because Yahweh Bashim Shah rejected them, man. That's why they don't believe, man. All right, you know the Most High Yahweh Bashim Shah hasn't making himself known to these niggas, man. That's why they don't believe, and we gonna and we gonna get that. But let's start with getting Second Edgerus, uh fifteen. And like I said, man, the nigga was doing good, man. The nigga was bringing out information, man. You know what I'm saying? But you know, with a clown like that. You know, and yeah, he's going to be a fucking clown, man. With a clown like that, you got to pick the meat out of the bones, man. All right? Because, you know, he come with information. But then when it comes to the Bible uh, he, and he and he want to speak about the Bible, man, you got to hit the uh, mute button on his ass, man, or, or afford it. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't know what the hell he's talking about, man. That's when he make himself a damn fool, man. But ultimately, how about your mouth shot rejected him and niggas like him, man? All right? You know? And you're going to get niggas like you. You're going to come across a lot of niggas like that. But anyway, uh... Second Ezra is 15 and we can start at one. Second Ezra is 15 and one. It says, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Al-Bashah. So Yahweh Bashim al got his prophets out there. Starting with our elders, apostles, great millstone on down to us and every other brother alike to come in the same spirit of Yahweh Bashim al 
the Most High, Yahweh Shemah he put his words in our mouth, man. All right? We're not coming out there speaking our own words, man. We're coming out of the scriptures, man. We're bringing 100% truth out, man. All right? Verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, man. Yeah, they are faithful and they are true because it's going to come to pass, which is prophecy. And we've seen the prophecies come to pass today, man. All right? You know, a prime example by Israel standing back up on their feet. And Yahweh Shemah Shah blowing the breath back in Israel, that's prophecy within itself, going back to Revelation 11 and 11, man. All right, going back to Ezekiel, them, them, those dry bones in the valley. You know, Yahweh Shemah Shah putting the sinews and, and blowing that breath into the elect. And that breath represents this knowledge, this wisdom, and this understanding, man. Coming back to what? Our nationality, our heritage, man. Coming back to our true power, Yahweh Shemah Shah, seeking after Yahweh Shemah Shah, man. All right, you know. Uh, second edge was 15 and 3. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. So the incredulity of these niggas, two thirds, you don't let that trouble you at the end of the day because they're playing and they're fulfilling their lot, man, at the end of the day. Yahweh yeah, Shemal Shah ain't dealing with these niggas. They can't reject the most high. The most high to reject them, man. Just like, just like you can't come to the Lord and give your life to the Lord and make yourself of the elect. No, you can't make yourself of the elect. Yahweh yeah, Shemal Shah have to choose you, man. All right, at the end of the day, that's how it works, man. All right, so we, you know, when I hear a nigga, you know, like Karim, when he came out of his mouth, you know, you know, got mad, you know, got pissed off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Anytime you hear somebody saying something stupid, speaking speaking against the truth, you know, you know, you know, that, that shit get your blood boiling. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You know, I get back calm because I know it's all prophecy at the end of the day. Two thirds are going to do what two thirds do, man. All right. And that just, that just a prime example when Kareem, Kareem Johnson made that statement out of his damn mouth, that was a prime example that Yahweh Shema was shy. You know what I'm saying? You know, ain't dealing with this guy, man. The most high rejected this dude, man. The most high, you know what I'm saying, not allowing this nigga, you know what I'm saying, to see and to hear prophecy and hear the words and, and hear the prophets out there on the highways and byways and it's not resonate with the spirit because the most high ain't dealing with him. The most high didn't reveal itself to this guy and, 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 and other niggas alike, man. All right? Just like coming that same spirit you know what I'm saying, this nigga, man. Really to come in the spirit of, of the Antichrist. That's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? anti mashiach man. They anti mashiach at the end of the day. So let's say that correctly, man. All right. Uh, read in 2nd Edges 15 and 3 again. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, man. Yahweh Shema Washah. Said all, all the unfaithful. So Karim, 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 and all these other clowns, man. Hey, man. Ultimately, their their uh, judgment is gonna be dealt, man. All right, cause y'all about your mouth, I ain't playing. Cause he got his prophets out, man. So, so, so ain't no god dog going excuse at the end of the day. And really, this nigga ain't nothing but a goddamn fool, man. That's all he is, man. Karim is a fucking fool. Come out of his damn mouth and making a statement like that, making a blanket statement like that, man. All right. Uh, Psalms 14 and one, it says to the chief musician, a Psalms of David, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what this clown was saying, man. It's about a mystery God. He don't believe in a mystery God in the sky or whatnot. Well, you know, when Jacob's trouble uh, come upon, I want to see who the fuck he going to believe in in that day and that time, man. Who you going to put your trust in then, nigga? And all the other clowns talking trash like that, man. Talking about they don't believe in y'all, but they don't believe in they don't believe in the guy. They don't believe in the mystery guy. They they are guys. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas easily can talk that talk, man. All right. Until, you know what I'm saying, reality hit them in the goddamn face, man. All right. And we'll see. Tough guys. <laughs> Starting back up top, Psalms 14 and 1. It says to the chief musician, a song of David, the fool have said in his heart, and you a damn fool for making a stupid statement like that in his heart. There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Yeah, man. Niggas are, most I don't respect none of these nigga works, man. The most I, Yahweh about Shemal Shah don't care how many people Karim get off liquor, get off alcohol, get off drugs. You know what I'm saying? You know he going out there trying to help the youth. You know what I'm saying? You know this nigga based off, if I'm not mistaken, he based off in New York. You know, he used to be a, you know, he used to be a stick up kid. He used to you know what I'm saying? Dude, you know, he's be in the streets and he so-called changed his life around. You know, he bought a what you know, he did some time in prison, if I'm not mistaken, as well, too. But uh, you know what I'm saying? He I think he in his early fifties. And you know, he he nothing but a fucking fool, man, at the end of the damn day for making uh simple uh statements like that. But we understand why, you know what I'm saying, he made those uh statements, those blanket statements like he did, because ultimately, yeah, like I said, Yahweh Shemal Shah, 
ain't dealing with him. He's not a prophet. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no man of the Lord. So we see why, you know what I'm saying? He'll make statements like that, man. He don't believe in the scripture. He don't believe in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? He don't believe in prophecy. Okay. All right. But, uh, but he do, he do, he don't like, he don't, he don't like Esau. I give him credit for that. He don't like no damn Edomites, man. You know, he hate Edomites. I, get, I give him that much credit. You know what I'm saying? But far as him saying that they ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no God. Hey man, the hell with that nigga, man. Hell with him, man. All right. And, and any other non-believers saying, making statements like that, man. Amos 3 and 7, it says, surely the Lord God, Yahweh Shema was shy will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. So, Yahweh Shema was shy, he revealed his secret to the servants, the prophets. So, if you're not a prophet of Yahweh Shema was shy, you're not going to understand the scriptures. You're not going to understand the um, Yahweh Shema was shy. You're not going to understand the judgments, all right, that's going out. You know what I'm saying? Because the Most High haven't revealed itself to you. You're not going to have faith. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have confidence in the words of Yahweh Shema was shy, man. All right, you know, so of course you won't believe, nigga, because Yahweh Shema Shah did not reveal itself to you, clowns. Okay, all right, the Most High got a, the Most High got to sup with you. The Most High have to uh, ordain you, man. You can't choose the Most High. The Most High have to choose you, man. And let's get that in Saint John fifteen and sixteen. All right, just back it up to Scripture. All right, red letter uh, Yahweh Shah, man. It says, "Ye have not chosen me." So th there you go. You there you go right there. There you go right there. The Most High. Made it very clear. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. There you go. Yahweh Shema Shah make the election at the end of the day. Yahweh makes the election, okay? Like Yahweh Shah said, the Yahweh uh, uh, created the elect. He, hang, he, he single handedly, Yahweh single handedly picked the elect and gave the elect over to Yahweh Shah, man. All right, you know? It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. So the elect didn't didn't become the elect of their own through their own works. No, it was already preordained, man. All right. So you can't reject Yahweh Bashim Shah. Like I said, the most high, you know, reject your ass, man. You can't make yourself of the just just and, and it's balance. Just like you can't make yourself a elect. No, you can't make yourself of the elect. The most high have to choose you, which we read in St. John 15 and 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. Kind, simple. I don't even have to break that down, man. I already broke it down. It breaks itself down, man. Self-explanatory. Y'all but you have to choose you. The most high makes the election. Not you, man. All right? Let's get an example. Let's get an example of that, man. All right? Let's go to Jeremiah, man. Let's go to Jeremiah real quick, man. All right? All right? This right here, Jeremiah. One and five, it says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And sanctified just means to separate, separate, man. You know, holy, man. All right, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? The most I said, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. So Jeremiah didn't have no, uh, he, Jer Jeremiah, you know what I'm saying? He didn't make himself of the elect. The Most High did. He didn't have a choice at the end of the day, man. The Most High already ordained him. You know, in verse 5, we read it, man. And that's, and Jeremiah represents the elect. So that's how it go. And we just read St. John 15 and 16. All right. And we just read an account. We read an example. You know what I'm saying? Let's read it again. Um, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So the Most High already, already uh, predestined Jeremiah to be a prophet. All right. To the nation of Israel, man. All right. He already preordained. And before thou camest forth out of the wound, I sanctified thee. You know, back in the spiritual realm, man. All right. You know, most I already created, you know what I'm saying? We're actually, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah, you know what I'm saying? Created through the words, of, through the power of Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? You know, he created the elect. Okay. But Yahweh single-handedly picked the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? The selection of the elect. Okay. All right. You know, to himself, man, all right, and gave to Yahweh Shah, all right? It says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So Yahweh Shah said, I knew thee before you even went in your mother's womb, going back in the spiritual realm. Most high already preordained the elect at the end of the day, man. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations, man. So that's how that worked, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, man, okay? All right, Yahweh Shah have to what? Preordain you, man. All right, to be a prophet, okay? 
And it's no different when a nigga, a two-third, he's a non-believer. Yahweh Shem Shah rejected his ass, man. All right, you know? That's why you that's why you a non-believer, because the most high ain't dealing with you, man. Okay. Let's get uh let me get let me let me get first Corinthians, man. Let's get first first Corinthians, man. Okay. Let Paul tell you, even though some of these clowns don't prescribe to Paul. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you got you got you you even got weirdos. I call them weirdos, man. You know what I'm saying? In the truth, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh that's another story for another day. All right. Let's um hold on a Let's get this first Corinthians two and let's say and start at seven, man. Okay. Matter of fact, mm, let's start at verse six. First Corinthians two and six. It says, How be we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? It's talking about the elect. Yet not the wisdom of this world. Yeah, man. Talking about a mystery God or whatnot, and you're a God, you know what I'm saying? And you know, anything outside of this truth, hey man. You know what I'm saying? That, that shit of the world at the end of the damn day, man. Okay. Nor of the princes of this world that come to north. So it says come to north. That means it's vanity at the end of the day, man. You can believe because, you know, you got you niggas believing yourself. Call yourself five percenters. You ain't going to be able to save yourself out of Jacob's trouble, man. Your ass going to die right in Jacob's trouble, man. All right. Most I can have a missile with your name on it if you preserve that long, man. Most I don't take your ass out before that time, man. All right. You know. Um, or, or any of you guys describing Christian Jesus, Jesus, even you niggas that's in the circumcision, man, that's not teaching one hundred percent truth. Hey, man, that, that pertains to you too, man. All right, you just is worse, man. All right, you know what I'm saying. Anything outside this truth, man, you know what I'm saying. You know, outside you, how about your mouth and this truth? Hey, man, you know what I'm saying. You're not bringing out the one hundred percent truth, or you don't believe. Hey, man, you're gonna be destroyed at the end of the day, man. Once you, how about your mouth you know what I'm saying? Um, close the doors of mercy and grace, man. Once the doors are closed, ain't gonna be no but straight judgment. Most high's not playing with Israel no fucking more, man. All right, most I ain't gonna be long suffering forever, man. All right, most I can pass judgment on your ass, man. And it, it coming swift, man. It gonna come quick and swift, man. What we see him, man. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, finish verse seven. But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in a mystery. See, it's a mystery, man. Cause it's, a mystery is unknown, man. All right. You know, a secret, man, a riddle It's not made known to everybody at the end of the day in this wisdom of these scriptures. That's why Jake can't go in these scriptures and, and can't comprehend and can't understand. That's how Jake be wrestling with the words of Yahweh Bashim Shah. You know, that's why Jake uh, make make vain statements. They'll make a vain statement like, you know, what I'm saying the Bible is a book of allegories. It's not really, you know, the events really didn't really happen. You know what I'm saying? But you can take. But the Bible have certain gems in it the way you can take and apply it to to your life or whatnot. Man, get the hell up out of here, man. You got niggas make statements like that, man. All right. You know, I'm sounding so ignorant, man. OK, thinking, thinking really they sound smart to a dumb person. All right. They, they sound smart to a dumb person at the end of the damn day, man. All right. You know, because we know them guys ain't, ain't got it at the end of the day. Uh, First Corinthians uh, two and seven once again. And it's read. But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom. So, see, going back to Amos 3 and 7, Most High ain't dealing with all Israel, man. All right. He ain't made himself known to all Israel. That's you can't reject the Most High. Most High reject your ass, man. All right. It says, which Yahweh ordained before the world unto our glory, man. Right. And, and, and let me go to this right here just for, for the record, man. Why it's still on my mind. The scripture right here is on my mind, man. All right. To further prove that point, you can't reject the Most High. The Most High reject you. Just the same way. You can't come to Yahweh Bashim Al Bashah, all right? The Most High have to choose you, okay? Can't make your, nothing you can do to make yourself of the elect, man. All right, okay? Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Bashah. How can a man then understand his own way? So Yahweh Bashim Al Bashah already created the way for us, whether, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be of the elect or you're going to be a two third, man. Simple as that, man. All right, and that's how it works, man. All right, it's not, it's not hard to understand. Okay, reading again, Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al -Bashah. So if your goings are of Yahweh Bashim al -Bashah, then the Most High, he makes the election at the end of the day, whether you are of the elect of the 144,000 or you're two-thirds, man. All right, period, man. How can a man then understand his own way, man? So it's not up to you, it's up to Yahweh Bashim al -Bashah at the end of the day, man. All right, let's get Proverbs 21 and 1. It's read, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, while Yahweh shot. There we go. The king's heart, man. OK, you know what I'm saying? Esau, these heathen nations. All right. Israel. OK. Most high control the minds of all men at the end of the damn day, man. OK. All right. So when Esau go ahead and go into war, guess what? And these other nations go into war. Yahweh Shemal Shah put it in their heart. 
to go to war, man. All right. You know, simple as that. And, that, and that's coming around the corner, man. Not before the MOTB, the RFID chip have to happen before. All right. But, you know, what I'm saying no sooner afterwards, you know, what I'm saying that World War Three kickoff. Hey, man, y'all about your mouth shot on 30 miles of the Kings, man. All right. To try to, to fight against each other, then ultimately come against him. And hey, man, the most high going to flatten all the asses at the end of the day, man. All right. Starting with Esau punk ass, man. OK. Um, matter of fact, we already made that point. Now, I read again. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh shot. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will, man. Talking about your mind, man. OK. All right. So, you know, what I'm saying? like I say, when Jake coming to the truth, hey, and they wake up to the truth. All right. And they push the word, push the troop. They being diligent. They on fire. All right. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all about your mouth shot. That's his will at the end of the day. You got a damn nigga that, 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 that came into the truth and he fall out. Guess what, man? Most high cast his ass out and the most high rejected him, man. He ain't reject the most high. Most high rejected his ass, man. Okay. Same way somebody who don't believe a non-believer. Hey, how about your mouth shot? Rejected them. You can't reject the most high. The most high reject your ass, man. Simple, simple as that, man. Let's get, uh, get a Hosea, man. Oldie but goodie, man. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah, they got lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge of who? Yahweh Shema Vashah. All right? Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Yeah, because Yahweh Shema Vashah, we read in 2 Edge 15 and 1, the most I put his words in, you know, in the mouth of his prophets, man. So, Jake, they look at us as just normal men because we, we, we not what you call ideal men of the Lord in this society, in this wicked-ass society, America, a.k.a. Babylon, man. Because... You know, in this society, they teach you if you're not successful, you you don't have a lot of money. That means God is not with you. God hasn't blessed you and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Even though Yahweh Shah came on a donkey. <laughs> all right. You know what I'm saying? But yet, if you know, in this society, if you ain't got, you know what I'm saying, no funds, if you ain't got no money, you ain't got the tangible things. You know, Jake is not going to listen to you at the end of the day, man. Like scripture said, uh, I can't think of the scripture right offhand, but I, roughly paraphrasing, it, it tells you, you know what I'm saying? The city didn't respect. The poor man, all right? The poor man wisdom or the poor man words, man. They didn't even listen to the poor man's words, man. All right? But they listen to a, a simple nigga that got a lot of money, all right? <laughs> they'll listen to him all damn day, man, all right? You know what I'm saying? Listen to his garbage all day. He can't He can't prophesy to you. He can't tell you what's about to happen, man. You know, he, he can't tell you the name of your how about your mouth shot. He, he's not want, giving you no damn warning. You know, he got a lot of money and whatnot. But that money, his own money ain't going to be able to save him at the end of the damn day, man. For the wrath, you how about your mouth shot about the brain. All right. His money ain't going to be able to save him, man. OK. But going back to uh, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shall be no priest to me. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, I will also forget thy children that's why jake you know what i'm saying is con that's why jake is constantly up under the generation of curses that's why you see jake filling up the prison systems that's why you see jake getting gunned down in these streets all right you know that's why you see jake just being just being degenerates man just being degenerates they just like i say you seeing what's going on today man people the, the wickedness is just the wickedness is getting worse and worse at the end of the day, man. All right. The wickedness is growing worse and worse, man. Niggas, the niggas don't have any shame at the end of the day or whatnot. And like I said, they're going to cause you. How about you, Mouth Shah? You know what I'm saying? We bring a lot of judgment and be put. Now, two thirds got to freaking go, man. Because they don't have no fear at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. How about you, Mouth Shah, man? All right. But the most high is going to get his respect at the end of the day, man. All right. Let's get, uh, let's get one of my favorites, man. Matthew, you know what I'm saying? 13. And nine, man. All right. To further prove, Yahweh Shema Shah ain't dealing, all right, with all of Israel. He only dealing with the elect, 144,000, all right, and one third. Okay. All right. He ain't dealing with all Israel, man. Two thirds going to be destroyed at the end of the day. They don't believe because the Most High ain't shed his light upon them. That's why they don't believe. He got them in darkness. They in complete darkness, man. All right. Which that darkness represent what a stage, a big, a big, they, 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 they are in, they are in great confusion, man. Jake is in, in a great state of confusion. That's what they're in. Great state of confusion, man. Matthew 13 and 9. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. Verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Man, question mark. You know, like, why, why are you going over their head? You know what I'm saying? They were disciples asking you how was shy. And this is how you have a shy responded. Verse 11. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. See, it ain't given to two-thirds to a nigga. So when niggas come out the mouth, I don't believe in no God. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't believe in a white man. I don't believe in a white man book. That's a white man book in which they can't even prove that, man. All right? They can't prove it to save their goddamn life. They niggas just regurgitate fucking madness that they've been hearing. You know, it's like a damn parrot. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing they do, regurgitate misinformation and that's misinformation right there for you to say that there there's no god that's misinformation right there <laughs> you saw i like to talk about misinformation but that's misinformation right there but anyway uh, verse 11 again it says because it is given unto you to to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given yeah two-thirds man verse 12 for whosoever have to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance but whosoever have not from him shall be taken away even that he have, and that's going into a nigga that been in the truth and, and partake in his truth and went back out in the world. The little bit of knowledge that he did have, yeah, how about your shot? Gonna strip that away from his ass, man. Uh, going back to Matthew 13 and 13, real lady, how was shot? Therefore, speak I to them in parables because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Elijah's, which say, which say of. By hearing, ye shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing, ye shall see and shall not perceive. Kind, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the prophets are out. But you know what I'm saying? Jake, when they talk shit, they talk shit against the men of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't believe in that book. I don't believe in that book. So they're rejecting the words, man. They think they're rejecting us. But the prophets, we, we're speaking the words of Yahweh about your mouth shy. And that starting with Great Millstone, starting with Elders Apostle, Great Millstone on down to us and every other brother alike to come in the same spirit of oh, Yahweh about your mouth shy, man. Okay, spirit of truth, man. Hundred percent truth, man. All right. Um, verse fifteen. For this people's heart is wax gross, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? They heart, their minds, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Of, of hearing the words of your house, your mouth was shot, man. And their ears, their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Kind man. You know what I'm saying? So how about your mouth shot, man? He going back, you know what I'm saying? The Romans 11 and 7. You know what I'm saying? You know, he blinded, you know, he blinded two thirds, man. The way they wasn't going to come to this knowledge and understand it because how about your mouth shot rejected their ass, man. All right. Okay. So when you hear people talking against the scriptures, hey, that's your how about your mouth shot rejecting them, you know, for the new brothers coming in, man. Don't let that shake in your faith at the end of the day because you got non believers. Hell, you had niggas that didn't believe going back 2,000 years ago when how about was on the scene. Even when he was performing his miracles, man. Niggas gonna be niggas at the end of the day, man. All right. Uh, Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, man. The rest were blinded, man. Two thirds, man. And you know what I'm saying? We read it again. Pretty much the same thing we read in Revelation uh, 13, you know, Re Revelation 13th chapter. Not Revelation, Matthew, the 13th chapter, man. Matthew, the 13th chapter, man. Pretty much what we was reading. But, uh, read a little more it says uh romans 11 and 8 according as it is written yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day yeah even to this day man all right you know 2022 and nigga nigga still don't know the name of yahweh 2022 a nigga still call itself an african-american puerto rican mexican but yet Na native american but yet they talk yet they think they deep yet yet they think they on a the level though all right um verse uh verse nine and david saith, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block this truth man all right to be a stumbling block to them they're gonna speak against it they, they're not gonna believe in it which which is gonna bring judgment to them man which they fulfilling the lot of being a two-third a non-believer man a stiff nick nigga man you got stiff nick all in the scriptures man and that's our people man people stiff nick at the end of the day when it comes to hearing the words of your how about your mouth was shot but see a nigga can get in line and and, and and cooperate himself when it comes to Esau. A nigga can follow all the rules on his job when it comes to Esau, man. All right. But then when it comes to how about your mouth with Shah, true power, niggas got excuses, man, to make, man. Why they can't do this, why they can't do that. Or oh, niggas, nah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. But Esau tell you to put that damn seatbelt on. Esau tell you to have your ass at work by eight, eight thirty. Hell, you bleed, you bleed to have your ass dead by eight, eight thirty, or you know your ass get fucking fired, man. All right. So you know what I'm saying? So you had so that's fear. That you have you to have your ass coming to, you know what I'm saying, coming to work on damn time, you know your ass get fired. But yeah, you ain't got no fear in your how about your mouth shot though, man. All right, you know. You know, you got fear of the Esau. When Esau tell you, hey man, you don't take the jump shot. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be employed. See, you niggas got fear in Esau. You niggas get in line and take and take the jump shot. Take the macaroni, Tony. 
But then when it comes to Yahweh Shemal Bashad, tell you to come out of this world, all right? Not not to be conformed to this world, come out of this world. Niggas got problems with that though, man. All right. You got you got to question every damn thing. But you don't question nothing when it comes to Esau, your oppressor. You know what I'm saying? Your number one enemy, man. I tell you, man, you Jake. Yo, Jake is done out here. Jake finished, man. All right. Romans uh 11 and 9, once again, and it's red. It says, and David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense to them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always, man. Okay. So, yeah, man, Jake, like I say, Jake is finished out here, man. And we're going to end, you know what I'm saying, with this uh last scripture here, man. We're going to end with this last scripture here, man. Okay. Because, like I say, when Jake finally get it, Man, it'll be too late, man. All right. Doors of mercy gonna be over with. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're gonna get when no missiles come, you're gonna get you gonna get told the biggest I told you so, all right? <laughs> when no missiles come, man. All right, when your ass left down here, man. Okay, take you a nuclear missile shower. Courtesy of you, how about your mouth was shot? Uh Ezekiel two and five. And it's red, and they, whether they were here or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. I'm talking about you two third niggas, man. Yet shall know. That there have been a prophet among them. Hey, when prophecies, when prophecy, when 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 prophecy start popping off, the MOTB, when they make it mandatory, all right, you know what I'm saying? You know, when Esau start coming down and, and and you know what I'm saying, with you with that great wrath going back, you know what I'm saying, Revelation 12 and 12, then you niggas are gonna consider, man. All right, when you see that great famine, which is already here, all right, you know what I'm saying, then you're gonna consider, man. When you see anarchy, martial law. You know what I'm saying? Them concentration camps, your ass getting caught off in them concentration camps. All of those are prophecy we was given one starting with the elders apostles, giving that warning to Israel, man. Whether they hear or whether they forbear, man. Hey, hey, you can't say, you know what I'm saying, you know, you, you didn't hear it. All right. You all right? Cause the word went throughout the four corners. So ain't gonna be no cloak for Israel sins at the end of the day, man. All right. And with that, that's the end of my listen. And out of rock the Zach, I'm you know what I'm saying? That was edifying to the hopeful elect. And with that, I want to get, I want to say shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom, shalom, shalom.